It is not hot. It is a hot one. As promised, we're at the park. Hey, because you were so good at the shops. Ooh. Yes. Just for a little bit, because it is really hot. 30 something. Hey, little mama. Have you got your baby there? That's so nice. Is she going to sleep? Oh, that's nice. Hi, guys. I don't even know if I've said hello or good morning, but hey. I think this is really weird and I just want to show you. So I got Ivy, my friend works at Sports Girl and um, I've been telling her that I find it hard to buy um, like appropriate cute outfits for Ivy because she's in that next size. Now she's um, in like the, I think it's like 10 to 16 or whatever. Anyway, she suggested Sports Girl in an extra extra small which I just bought online. Super cool. I bought two t-shirts, but they're totally like different. Do you reckon? Oh. So they're both an extra extra small Both an extra extra small, right? Extra extra small, extra extra small But look at the size difference like The one on top I think will be a perfect size for her, but then the one underneath which I love it's massive and like it doesn't say oversize on it or anything but I don't know I mean she can grow into it it's totally fine but I just thought that was really funny that they're like one is way bigger and then I got this as well oh can you see it's a pencil case and it says puppies on it she's gonna be obsessed I'll take the plastic off it's so cute so that's her something to wear did I say this no. Um, I bought little gift tags this year to help me to kind of really rein it in. Um, I'll show you up here. They're like just little circular gift tags of Etsy. Um, I'll link them down below. And something you need, something you want, something to wear and something to read, which I think is so Lovely. So the kids are going to get each something kind of in that category and then something um, Santa will bring something and then we're doing with my family a secret Santa Which will be really really fun Anyway, I've just realized someone commented on another video Asking if they had missed something if I'd said like what the plans were with moving and things like that and I don't think I've said so um you know, if you don't know, my husband and I separated at the beginning of this year. Um, it's really kind of crap. All the paperwork that comes with, um, you know, separating two lives and things and the house. And so I've sold our house here. And then um, we, the kids and I are going to be moving. I'm really lucky. Like, I am so lucky that I even have this option but my parents live um, on a really really big block like I'm not talking like farmland but they're like in suburbia they have a really big block you know like a battle axe block where they kind of cut it up and they have long driveways down the side well theirs is kind of an original that hasn't been cut up so there's a big house on the front um, and it's kind of like normal width but it goes back like ages and ages I think I've showed you I'll find a clip to put in but it goes just really 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 deep like on the side of it I think it might be like four houses four blocks deep on either side type of thing so anyway actually they have basically offered the kids and me their home it's the two of them and it's it's upstairs downstairs it's double the size of what I'm in it's a big family home um, which is so lucky I'm, I like, I can't even. <laughs> um, so the kids and I are moving there. We're moving into that big house. Um, I've got in the habit to call it the big house because so we'll be living in it. And then down, kind of halfway down the block, my mum and dad are building a little house. So not a tiny house, like the tiny house movement or anything, but like a cottage, like a little cottage. Um, we're not calling it a granny flat though, guys. My mum is not a granny, she said. It's not a granny flat. So I've been calling it the little house and then the big house. So the little house has been all approved by council. We've had soil testing. I think they've gone in and everything. She's picked colors, benches, doorways, tapware, 
you know, like normal things when you're building a house. And I think building starts very soon, but that's all happening, which is so cool. So the space is just going to blow our minds. It's going to be really massive um, compared to what we're used to. I think it's going to be nice. I think I really, like I realized pretty quick when we were in lockdown from coronavirus that I do need a bit of support there. And I think having mum and dad, you know, down the back is going to be like a little buffer for me. Just that little, I don't know, peace of mind. Like if I need to run one kid to the hospital, they can be there with the others type of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all of these things that when you're married and when you're in a relationship, you don't think of because you always have a partner with you. You have that person that you can rely on, you know, if you're in a good marriage. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think it's going to take a little bit for me to get used to. But I think for now, I don't know if this is forever or if this is... I don't know, but for now, in this season, it's going to be really, really great, and I'm really thankful. But anyway, I'm just, I'm rambling on now, but that's kind of the plan for people um, that were asking. You didn't miss anything. I just haven't spoken about it, I think. I think I was just um, getting everything that it was, you know, nearly about to happen type of thing. So anyway, I'm going to take you on that journey as well with us. I think building the little house, that's going to be so cool to see that happen and um obviously us moving and packing and unpacking and but anyway i've just put a movie on for the kids and i'm gonna start bagging up some more stuff to take to lifeline or the thrift store goldie goldie <laughs> you're a daredevil you're a daredevil you're a daredevil. Daredevil. You are. You, you're a daredevil. And how come your dress is inside out? I know. You don't know. You gonna help mommy tidy up? No. <laughs> I love you. Pardon? Love you. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. I love you. Love Bye. me. Just love me. I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. Say it back. I love you. Bye, mommy. Aww. Oi. Marigold pager. Where are you going? Where are you going? You always come into Ivy's room. Why do you always come into Ivy's room? Hey. Hey. I love you. I love you. I love you. What do you say? Say, I love you, Mum. I love you, Mum. Hmm? I love you. <laughs> Don't fall back. You may big squeeze and then I'll let you go. Big hug. Look, excuse my messy pantry, but I pulled all these to the front. You know when you just kind of start uh, accumulating like just jars and tins and just crappy stuff here? So I thought, I don't want to be carting heaps of stuff over when we move. So I'm going to try to clean out my pantry. So guys, watch this space. Because <laughs> I feel like it's chock-a-block. And I'm a little bit... Um, not nervous but I'm a bit worried maybe the pantry over at the big house is probably only like one door so I've got this two deep one here but at the big house yeah it's only one of these <laughs> look this is all the fun stuff that I get to figure out and I get to organize once we're in just got to get in you know just got to get this all packed up <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be an effort, I think. A challenge. It's going to be a challenge, actually. Woohoo! Yay! 
Bye. Bye.